Hey, I'm Trevor with Impact Guns, and today we took a few of these Swiss machine guns out of our safe to show you guys. Uh, we're going to give you a little bit of history and specs on them, and then take them out to the range and shoot them. Alright, so today we've got some Swiss SG series rifles. SG stands for Sturmgewehr, or assault rifle in German. Basically, in 1978, they were looking for a replacement for the Sturmgewehr 57 rifle. It was a big, heavy, 12.5 pound fixed stock rifle that they wanted a more compact, modular replacement for. Uh, things like a folding stock and whatnot were things they were looking for. So in 1986, production started on these. And in 1990 is when this uh, rifle was officially adopted by the Swiss military. It's still in use today by their military, law enforcement, and other countries around the world as well. There were over 600,000 of them made so far. And these are some variants of those rifles that we're going to show you today. So taking a closer look at the SIG rifle here, these are a closed bolt, long stroke piston driven weapon. Uh, very similar to uh, like an AK in some respects. Uh, they've got the stamped steel receivers here and the adjustable piston up here. Uh, they have an ambidextrous fire selector here with four different modes. You got safe, semi-automatic, three round burst, and then fully automatic. It's a hammer fired weapon and very unique trigger on these. It's kind of a two stage, um, very interesting kind of setup if you've ever shot one. Uh, on the back here you've got your diopter sight similar to a lot of HK rifles. There are four different settings on there. You've got 100, 200, 300, and 400 meters. And then your hooded front side up here. So here we've got the shorter 552 series, or commando you might call it. Uh, this in particular is a 552-2. Uh, if you ever see these, that dash two actually signifies a one in seven inch uh, barrel twist. And then a dash one would be a one in 10 twist, which is set up for the Swiss GP90 ammunition, 63 grain, 223. Uh, this one in particular here has the short 8.9 inch barrel and then the kind of low profile sights like I was saying earlier. Next we've got a 551-2. This is a 13.6 inch barrel and the better sights here with the hooded front and the adjustable rear. So these first four models we have on the table are actual Swiss guns imported here into the States. Sig Sauer out of New Hampshire actually made the 551A1, which is an American semi-automatic civilian version of these rifles. It comes with a 16-inch barrel. It has a 36.1-inch overall length and 26 inches when folded. This is a little more similar to what the Swiss military is using. They have an even longer one with a 20.8-inch barrel as their main service rifle. They had a few different cost-effective features that they did with this rifle to bring it to the American market at a better price point, so we can get into that as well. These rifles take a translucent magazine, uh, kind of a unique style here. This is a 30 round and a 20 round capacity. These are the most common ones. Some other ones exist. Uh, you can also link these together uh, as many as you want, really. So it's kind of a unique design there that you can see your capacity as well. All right, so we're going to go over some of the differences here in these rifles. We have the shorter 552 model here. It's got the sights you saw earlier, kind of lower profile flip ups. It does have this Picatinny rail for optics along the upper receiver. You do get a smaller little metal charging handle here. There's no kind of rubber cover on it like on these other rifles. Uh, there's no pick rail up here, but you do have your four position diopter sight and your hooded front. And these are pretty unique right here. So on the Swiss model, there's actually tritium inserts here on the rear and the front post. So these are going to glow in the dark. And then some of the differences moving on towards the civilian SIG 551A1. The receivers are forged aluminum, similar to an AR-15 you'll find on the market here, versus the actual SIG products here from Switzerland are going to be stamped metal, more like an AK, a little more robust. Um, you get a little different trigger guard and magazine paddle release setup on this one. On the Swiss one, this actually rotates 90 degrees so that you can use this with gloved hands right there. This American one is just fixed here. The grips do open up on these models here. 
So you have a little storage compartment along with a little paper. I'm assuming the soldier's name and information would be put on there, wherever it's issued to. The American one does come open as well, just a little different style. This one just has your safe and semi-automatic on the selector since it's just a Title II weapon. These takedown pins are a little different on this model. It's pretty unique, this end right here that you see, little nipple sticking out, actually pushes in these little inserts here so that it keeps it from accidentally opening up. So a really nice feature there. I don't know if you can see that. So here you've got your safe, semi-automatic, three round burst, and fully automatic selector settings there. Ambidextrous controls. But otherwise a very, very similar rifle. All the furniture exchanges out. Um, there are some of these on the market. You'll probably have to find a used one, but SIG did make them for a few years here. And a very nice little rifle and much cheaper compared to these right here. These are actually a post sample uh, dealer machine gun. So you do have to go through quite a few hoops and taxes and everything to acquire one of these. They're in very limited amounts as well. Um, but you guys would definitely be able to find one of these on the market. All right, we're out here at the range at Impact Guns. We're going to put a few rounds through these different rifles. Going to do some uh, slow, accurate fire, see what kind of group we can get. Ah, who am I kidding? We know why you're watching. All right, so here we've got the SIG 551-2. We're gonna try all the different selector modes on here. So we got semi, burst, and then fully automatic. All right, we just got off the range with these SIG SG rifles here and had a blast with these. Absolutely, probably the coolest machine gun I've shot. Uh, I know they're really rare, but if you ever get a chance to shoot one, I'd highly recommend it. They're very quality rifles. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to stop by our Impact Guns in Ogden. We do have quite a few different firearms for rent, including some machine guns. And be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.